Hey guys, Matt here with Crypto Blick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Today I'm going to show you how to update your ledger live. So if that sounds good to you, let's jump in and make it happen. And before we get into that, if you've been wondering why I've been gone for a hot minute, it's because I moved into a new house. Yes, I bought it. So that's why I've been silent for a couple, you know, about two months now. Um, I do have a separate room for my YouTube studio. I'm not there right now because I'm waiting for some more gear to come in. But if you're wondering why there is a real brick wall behind me, it's because I'm in a house. So I'm excited to show you guys. I'll probably do another video on a kind of a quick tour, um, showing you some things I'm uh, doing with the house to create multiple streams of income. Uh, but let's jump into this Ledger Live update and let's make it happen. All right, so the first step is jump into your Ledger Live account. Go ahead and put in your password. It's then going to pull up and you're gonna see at the top here, update Ledger Live version 2.3. 0, 0.0 it's available for download so go ahead and click download update all right and it's checking the update so then it says update ready to install click install now all right and once it does its update it's going then to bring you back to uh, the beginning where you have your password go ahead and put that in again and click enter and then it's going to let you know the release notes what's been updated I don't need to read these to you. You guys know what that is, or you can find it out within the release notes um, on the app, but you'll see everything here. Once you have everything updated, go ahead and select that settings uh, icon. Come on over to about, and then just make sure that uh, Ledger Live is 2.3. 30.0 to make sure that you have the proper update installed. Um, I know we just updated it and everything looked fine, but I always like to double check just to make sure everything's correct. And then I also like to make sure that my ledger products are up to date and there are no other apps that need to be updated as well. And by the way, when I say apps, everyone gets this uh, confused, not confused, they're just curious, why does it say apps? That is Ledger's way of confusing people. Think of it like folders. So let's make sure those apps or folders are up to date and we'll go from there. So from this step, you're gonna go on down to manager. It's then going to ask you to connect your device, which I've already done and put in your pin. It's then going to ask you to allow Ledger manager click but both buttons at the top if you're using a Nano S or similar, you have both buttons on your Nano X as well. You're then going to see that uh, everything is up to date except for updates available. I've got two updates here, so Bitcoin and Ethereum. Let's go ahead and update both. I have people ask um, if they'll lose their coins when they update these. No, you will not. You will be fine. I've done this all the time, every time I need to update. Um, but I always go in and make sure that uh, even my apps, remember folders, are up to date. So let's go ahead and update all. So as you can see, the apps are installed and updated. Um, you can even come up here and see firmware is up to date 2.0.0 for the Ledger Nano S. That's also something else you wanna check just to make sure that everything is clean and updated as appropriate. One thing you gotta remember guys is that um, you are your own bank. So even with this, um, content that you have, your, your hardware wallets, uh, don't let it sit for 10 years and expect the thing to work just fine when you plug it in. I've had people comment on my videos about that and just think about like an, a bank or another company that is professional and they're running their services appropriately and they're backing up their systems. They make sure everything's up to date uh, on a monthly, weekly, and even daily basis. You don't need to do this daily with your S and even your X, um, but don't let it go for 10 years without updating. Please, you know, every couple of months, just check in, see if it needs to be updated and make sure that things are running appropriately so that you're not screwed um, in some form of fashion when your product doesn't work. Now, granted, you can buy another one, a new one and, and install your wallet on there, but save yourself some money. Just make sure things are updated every couple of months. So now I'm gonna jump on my X and make sure that the Ledger Nano X is updated as well. I just plugged in my Nano X. I do need to put in my passcode and select the two buttons to accept on Ledger Live. So one second. So I've allowed it on Ledger Live, I've clicked accept. So then it's telling me, hey, there's a firmware version 1.3.0 is available for my X. So um, I haven't updated the X in about two months here. So make sure to update the firmware. And then as you can see, I've got uh, Cardano and Ethereum that needs to be updated as well. So let's go ahead and do that first. I always like to start with the firmware and then update the apps, remember folders, 
um, first, you know, do the, do the firmware first and then those apps and second. So let's go ahead and update the firmware. All right, so make sure you have your 24 word recovery phrase. That's also very important to have. If something ever happens with your product, you want to make sure you have that recovery phrase, that 24 keyword recovery phrase, um, because that is what controls um, your system, your hardware wallet, so that you can gain your crypto assets if need be. Um, that's spammers and hackers try to get that from you. Ledger will never ask you for those words, so keep that in mind. All right. I do have my recovery phrase. Nah, I can't talk. I have my recovery phrase. Let's move forward. From here, it wants you to verify the identifier. So you're going to select uh, to the right on, on your Nano X. Sorry, guys, I can't show you this right now. I'm limited by my cameras. Um, I'm going to see that the type of firmware. Yes, it's 1.3. And then I'm going to see the code for that identifier. I'm just gonna make sure everything is correct here. Perfect. All right, and then click both buttons to perform the update. And I need to put my code again. Fantastic, so now the firmware is updated on my Nano X. Now let's click on reinstall apps. Remember, they're, think of them like folders, okay? I'm just gonna restate this every time I do videos like this going forward, because people are so stinking confused when they, they hear apps. So let's reinstall. I need to unlock my device again. Fantastic. So that is how you update uh, your products, your hardware wallets with Ledger, whether it's your Nano S or your X. Like I said, guys, just make sure your firmware is updated not only on your products, make sure the apps or those folders are updated as well. Uh, most likely it will say accounts instead, but uh, make sure those are updated. And then make sure Ledger Live is updated as well to the most current version so that you know your products are going to work successfully and appropriately as Ledger designed them to be. So if you guys found this helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel, like the video here as well. And if you have any other comments or questions, put them down in the, the comment section below. I'll do my best to respond. Even if I'm not posting videos, I'm still looking at the comment section daily so that I can help you guys out going forward. So as always, my studio space is coming here soon. I will be doing more videos from there. I may do some more here in this temporary space. Uh, but until next time, guys, have an awesome day and uh, enjoy the sunshine.